Now this one was about another 12 hours and it is the body of baby Thanos. Holy moly! <laughs> that thing is massive! And we got baby Thanos hanging in the air, taking a dump. <laughs> Just barely clearing the vat. So, I was a couple centimeters short of uh, the full build height of the Moai. It's incredible to see that it actually, yeah, printed out um, from first looks, printed out perfectly. Can't see any supports that were snapped off. Yeah, looks good. So, I'm going to clean it up and uh, see how it goes. Alright, so we've actually run into a bit of a problem here. I can't actually pull him out uh, because his feet is hitting the, the vat. So I'm going to have to try and pull the vat out and then pull the uh, plate out at the same time. <laughs> Never had this issue before. But we'll do it this way. Whoa, whoa, holy crap. Alright, so we got him out. <laughs> so, here's the print. He's, uh, he's absolutely massive. Um, it barely fits into the frame. <laughs> Gonna try and not drip resin everywhere. Wow. I cannot believe he printed up. Um, print looks pretty good from what I can see. Freaking amazing. <laughs> the size of this thing. Monster. Alright, so here's the print all cleaned up. Boots came out really nice. I'm still dribbling a little bit because I've got the vent holes on the bottom here, key on the bottom. Keys on the top and vent holes on the top. Uh, this stuff here, I'm just going to leave it. This is the tips of the support. And uh, I haven't cut them off because I am just going to sand all this flat. Um, just to avoid any sort of chips from trying to cut it with uh, flush cutters. A uh, little bit of lay lines on the back which is easily sanded smooth so that's all good the texture on the uh, on the skirt he's wearing uh, came out pretty nice and yeah the feet the shoes came the boots came out really nice too so overall very happy with it And uh, put this in a curing station and on to the next piece, which will be the head.